you are walking around the garden a hundred times before your birthday on April the 30th to raise money for the NHS, uh, a wonderful achievement. You're a World War II veteran yourself, and you've now got to, well, you're nearly two thirds of the way there, uh, Captain Moore. How do you feel about how it's going? Um, so uh, you, you apparently tweeted um, Piers yesterday. Yes, he did, with some encouragement, Piers. Um, <laughs> and and um, what Piers has said is uh, you, you're a World War II veteran and now you're taking on this challenge of 100 lengths of the garden. But so far, you've reached £350,000. And how do you feel about that? Hi, Piers. I feel that it's absolutely fabulous that people have been so kind to... Uh, we give so much money to the National Health Service because <clears throat> if ever you've been in hospital, you know that the nurses are all the staff, all trained staff, uh, about uh, nine o'clock in the morning, and they all enter all uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed. Um, but you also must be very proud, not just of your daughter, but also of your husband, for, for putting his family first and carrying on with such incredible work oh do you know what he's our little unsung hero the rest the same as um a rest of the people in the in, in the world that's helping um to safeguard everyone but for us he's he's our hero uh risking his health uh, to help others um darren you, you you're doing brilliantly i uh, have you been able obviously you couldn't see your daughter this morning have you got any arrangements for some kind of celebration through the back door a little <laughs> bit later on We'll definitely be doing FaceTime. Um, I'm going to do my very best to get home tonight. Um, I've, I haven't got any deliveries booked in yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming soon. So, yes, no, I'll be definitely seeing her. I'll be definitely speaking to her on the phone. Hi, Camilla, if you can hear me. Um, yes, I'm, I, I can feel myself weighing up already. Tom, you're joining us now. 940,000. We're going to get to the million, Tom. Amazing. So said you 940,000 we're going to get to that million any any time now how amazing uh, it, it appears and um, Susanna it certainly is amazing and thank, thank you Chris, for your contribution yesterday that was enormous and uh, so kind of you and um, I'm sure that we're going to probably maybe we do make a million but that will be absolutely marvelous can we ask Carrie just to say how she feels about the NHS staff who, who helped save her? How do you feel about the NHS staff who helped to save you, Auntie Carrie? They're very good. <coughs> they were very determined, just as determined as I was. Fantastic. Oh, better. They were wonderful. Nothing Fantastic. was ever they took fabulous care of you so thank you 12 million pounds can we first of all get your reaction to this absurd amount of money that you've raised it's an absurd amount of money that you've raised it, it certainly is isn't it, it, it unbelievable though this, this sum of money has been raised so quickly for, 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 for super people Hilton, you had an extraordinary experience on your 61st birthday, which happened in the middle of all this <clears> hell. Um, yeah. And you are, the nurses said, what can we do for you? And you had a simple request. Well, yes, actually, I was so bowled over because, of course, I was conscious already that I'd been gi given the greatest gift that anybody could ever be given <laughs> as, a, as any present at any time, which is life. Um, but you can imagine, by that stage, I'd been in hospital for about nine days in all, and I was feeling pretty bedraggled and, you know, pretty bashed up. And um, it suddenly occurred to me, my goodness, what I would really love is a shave. So I said that, and the, and the kind nurse said, all right, me doc, you know, I'll give you a shave. <laughs> so, you know, then and there, I was then, you know, huge, hugely exciting moment. I was then actually sitting in a chair <laughs> beside the bed, you know, which is one of these great steps on the road to recovery and uh, you know she gave me a shave and uh, it was fantastic <laughs> and then the next thing that happened later that afternoon you know the nurses came around my bed and produced a piece of birthday cake with a candle on it oh. and they sang happy birthday and I've, I've been in the press you know quoted I 
I wept like a baby because it was too much, too much emotion, too much gratitude, too much joy to be alive. They were tears of joy. Well, that wasn't enough for Captain Tom. He's also the number one pop star in the country, having released a charity single with Michael Ball and the NHS Voices of Care Choir. Went to number one yesterday, knocking off one of his heroines, Dame <laughs> Vera Lynn, who was number one. So my first question for Hannah and for Tom is, how do you feel about knocking Vera Lynn off the top slot. So how do you feel about knocking Dame Vera Lynn? I feel rather poor, rather sorry because she is such a superstar and has been on the, the, the top for so long. And she was so good. And when I was in Burma, she came down to Burma and I, I saw her whilst we were out there, whilst we were in the, whilst we were in the firing line. Vera Lynn came down to see us all and gave us so much additional heart. Having to live apart from the rest of their family, but it's all about protecting Mila because she's got a low immune system while she undergoes chemotherapy and it's really, really hard for them. Mila and Linda join us now from their home in Falkirk. Every time I see that footage, my oh, heart flutters. Oh, it's so lovely to see Good both morning. of you. It really is. Hi, Hi how are you doing? Good morning. Now, this is all, Linda, this is all about protecting Mila, isn't it? This is basically why you've had to do this. Yeah, we made the decision a couple of weeks ago. We discussed it as a family, and Scott and my eldest daughter moved out. It was a week past yesterday. When so. you moved to my grand's They've gone to your grand's house. Is that Mila, is Granny, does Granny live far away? Is she quite close? Quite close, but she's a little bit far away. It's a bit of both. And tell me, who's that teddy bear you just held up? Who's that? This is um, a lovely teddy bear. Does the lovely teddy bear have a name? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Um, is it Ben? Uh, Alfie. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hilt, we did this incredibly moving interview with you um, a few days ago in which you paid fulsome tribute to the people who'd saved you. We now have some of those people here. Before we talk to them, just remind us again really what they did and how important they've been to you? Well, I came out of intensive care feeling like I'd done several rounds with Mike Tyson. And I guess that wonderful trio that's in the car park outside Leicester Royal Infirmary were the people who brought me back to the world, you know, step by step, every little touch, every day, one tube removed at a time. And actually, I'm very moved to see Maggie and Pretty and uh, Chris there in front of me. It's fantastic to see you guys. And Tom, there were, there were two things I heard yesterday. One is that Dame Vera Lynn that we just discussed had sent you a, a letter, letter to congratulate you on your efforts. So, can you reveal what she told you? So um, they, they've heard that um, Dame Vera Lynn sent you a letter. Who? Uh, Dame Vera Lynn sent you a oh, letter. Yes, yes. I was absolutely amazed when I got this letter from from uh, Dame Vera because she's all been always been such a, a top person backing up this country for so long and with her white clips of Dover that I think as, as I will say to her, thank you very, very much, Dame Vera. It is so kind of you and thoughtful for you to send me such a lovely note. And, and what did she say to you, Tom? I'm not going to tell you what she said. <laughs> I got you a present. Hey? I got you a present. What's that, darling? Ah! Oh! 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 Let me see, Ken. Show us what you've got, Ken. Let me see what you... Oh, Ken. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh. How beautiful. Oh. Well, Ken and Keir join us live from Preston, from the Thistleton Lodge care home in Preston. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Ken, let's start talking with, with you, if we may. How much did it mean to you that the care workers in your home went to all that trouble to get you such a beautiful gift? Well, it was so wonderful. It, I have been sleeping with a picture of my wife for nine months now since she, she died. And the cheer 
said to me, I don't like you doing that because it's class. <coughs> you are going to cut yourself. <coughs> so I got an, a packet that I had with Ada's picture on. And then all at once, Kachia, Kachia and her friends and the ma manager of the, the uh, hostel came to me and said, Ken, I've got a present for you. I'm going to cry if I keep on, because it was so touching. It was lovely, the most precious thing anyone could ever wish for. <laughs> oh, mate. And I, I must say, the staff here are excellent. Well, I've got something that is for you, and this will be your Pride of Britain award sent with all of our love, Tom, from everybody who's nominated, and I'm absolutely sure from everybody in the country. I can't give it to you now, but I want to give this to you later in the year when we have our awards ceremony, and it'll be a very special one. Um, and I just want to say that uh, we send it with the greatest love and the greatest respect to you. You are the Pride of Britain, Captain Tom. Tom, Ford. you are a so Pride Captain of Britain Tom winner. The Pride of Britain. That, that is absolutely amazing. It's, it's very difficult for me to believe uh, things like that because I know that the Prize of Britain award is a very important one and I, you, I can't be more proud than being in a position to receive it from you. You are also so very kind and I thank all the people who nominated me for this award. I thank you very much because I'm very, very humble at receiving this magnificent award. What was that moment like when you left hospital? Ah, uh, it, it was when they pushed you around that corridors and you come through all them lock-up, zip-up, air chambers, and, and I could see the double doors at the end of the, of the, of the corridor. And, and as we got closer, it opened, and I went out into the sunlight. <laughs> went into the fresh air. Oh, God, I want to give entry. And it, it was so emotional. Uh, even now, I'd come back to life and I'd come up to my children and my grandchildren. And the good story was my little granddaughter, who's four, and she wrote herself a letter to Father Christmas. And she said, Father Christmas, I don't want any presents this year. My sister Isla doesn't want any chocolate buttons anymore. But all we want is our granddad home. And I got home. And I can't wait to see him. Ken, um, Ken, one of the reasons that you got home was Dr. Isla. She's, uh, you've become so close. She's invited you to her wedding that's had to be sadly postponed until next year. But you've got a yeah. chance now, Ken, to just tell Dr. Dunning, on national television, <laughs> how grateful you are. What would you like to say to her? Oh, she, she was my angel. Captain Tom. Captain Tom. Captain Tom. Bravo, Captain Tom. You are a truly amazing man. Thank you for doing this for our equally amazing NHS. We all acknowledge your hard work. We all want to say we think you are amazing. What you have achieved throughout your life is truly remarkable. In the 1940s, you and your mates stepped up to the plate to help the country out. And here you are again. You are a hero. Breaking news. Captain Tom Moore's just passed 12 million pounds. Captain Tom Moore, you make me want to cry. Thank you, Captain. You have got the hearts of the nation fluttering. Keep walking! You've dug deep and inspired many people. That's it. Well done. Everyone is being inspired by his determination. He's a one-man fundraising machine, and God knows what the final total will be. But you've brought a smile to the whole nation at a very difficult time. Captain Tom, you are a true hero. And I can't think of anybody who sums up the pride of Britain more than you. I salute you, Captain Tom. I salute you, Captain Tom. And I salute you. I salute you, sir. 
You are a huge inspiration and I salute you. Captain Tom. We salute you, Captain Tom. We all salute you.